Hello everyone, welcome to Pyscore Academy. Myself Shaker. Today I am going to discuss a trending question in interviews which every person must be aware. I have already discussed the actual reasons why transformer and alternators are rated in KBA but not in KW which was very useful especially for electrical engineers. Now, do you know air conditioners? Of course yes. Do you have AC or you want to buy an AC? What is the capacity of AC which you have or you want to buy? 1 ton, 1.5 ton or maybe 2 ton? What is this ton? Is this ton referred to weight of the air conditioner? Today I will discuss why air conditioners are specified in ton. Why not in KW or KVA like the other electrical appliances. Here ton is not referred to weight of air conditioner. Then what does it refer to? Watch the video till end you will get some more interesting information along with this. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please click the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get immediate alerts on our new uploads. I think I must say this. Keep a faith on us, then you will completely understand this concept. Otherwise, you will end up with a lot of doubts. Of course, if you just think around that doubt carefully, you will get that clarity too. If you have no faith, simply skip the video. Okay, let's get to the topic. To understand this concept clearly, we need to dive into the history of air conditioning. We normally do start with such historical background. Coming to the history of air conditioning, that is how rooms were cooled in summer time before the invention of air conditioners, which we use today. Air conditioners with electricity were invented in the year 1902 by Willis Carrier in New York, USA, who is a founder of Carrier AC brand which we use today. Before this invention, people used ice for cooling purposes, which is collected from rivers and lakes during winter days. According to our research, in the year 1890, 4 million tons of ice was collected from Hudson River and it was used to cool the rooms by placing the ice trays in a room and also used for refrigeration purposes to preserve fish, meat, etc. Even nowadays, people use ice for cooling purposes. Some DIY projects in YouTube, some air coolers also. Not only for cooling your ambience, you might have observed ice is still used for refrigeration purposes at street fish vending zones. Okay, So uses of ice for cooling is there before the year 1900s and still continuing. As I said, in the year 1902, Willis Carrier invented air conditioners without using any ice, that is air conditioners which works with electricity. Because at that time electricity was getting popularity. To convey how powerful his invention, he said, my invention can give cooling equivalent to one ton of ice. This kind of terminology is quite easy for the customers to understand the pros and cons of it. Even nowadays, look at our mobile network providers. They say we are providing 10 times faster speed internet instead of saying what is that speed because this kind of comparison can give immediate idea of the product like the CI engine combustion engine power compared with power of horse hence the name horse power and is used to measure the capability of any drive or engine which we already discussed in the other video complete details of it. This kind of comparison began in electrical engineering right from the invention of bulbs. I mean power of artificial lights like gas light, electrical light is compared with light of candles, hence the measurement name candle power or candela is a unit of light. If I take another example, heat energy is compared with heat caused by burning one standard matchstick completely. This is the origin of unit BTU, one BTU, British thermal unit. See how nice is the comparison and naming the units. Okay, to sum up, one ton AC can give a cooling which is equivalent to one ton of ice kept in a room. Of course, the temperature can be controlled. Okay. Technically speaking, one ton AC can extract 1200 BTU of heat per hour or maybe you can say 200 BTU of heat per minute. There are some more technical details like how much electrical energy does one ton AC consumes and all. I will try to make another video of these calculations. So the conclusion is ton in air conditioning terminology does not refer to the weight of AC rather it refers to the heat absorbing capability. So how does it help in your daily life? You should buy an air conditioner based on how much heat is present in a room, not based on the room size. That's what the exact measure of AC in ton. 
but a common man don't understand such calculations hence they take the room size as a key factor of choosing the ac capacity but a true engineer does the actual analysis let me ask a simple question and you must answer it if you know the answer if you don't know search the internet for the answer and post it in a comment the question is which type of electrical motor is used in air conditioners each one of you should post the answer like every other video i'll give some important links and additional information in the description below you may check it i hope you enjoyed this lecture see in the next lecture with another interesting topic don't forget to like share this lecture with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more such videos thank you